Hey, Rainbow Warrior here, and I'm going to show you how to make these quick and simple cabled boot cuffs. So let me show you what you need, and let's get started. For your materials, you are going to need a stitch marker, a pair of scissors and a needle to sew your ends in, a pair of circular needles, I am using size 8, and you need to make sure your needles are short enough for this pattern so 16 inches. You'll need yarn of your choosing. I am using Caron Simply Soft in this really pretty color called Plum Perfect and it's really soft which is why I chose it. But you can use whatever yarn you want for this tutorial. You will also need a cable maker. You can always buy one or you can use anything you have I am using a paper clip. So you can start with a slip knot if you wish, but I prefer not to. So I am going to hold my yarn and begin with a long tail cast on. Rather than pulling it tight, I am going to leave it fairly loose. Try and keep it at the same tension so it doesn't look too funky. And this way the stitches will be able to spread along your needles and you won't have to use another method such as the magic loop so you're going to loosely cast on 40 stitches after you've cast on all your stitches hopefully they fit you can place your stitch marker on so you know where you started your round and you're going to join the round I like to do an extra step when I join the round. That's because tails just really bother me and I hate sewing in my tails. So rather than sew it in at the end, I wrap it around every first stitch so it's locked in. So I'll show you how I do that. Place the tail over your needle, like so. And that way when you knit the stitch, it will lock the tail in to your work and it will be much more manageable. So we're going to begin a two by two ribbing for the first six rounds. So knit two, purl two, all the way around. After your ribbing is completed, we are going to start our pattern for the cables. So we are going to purl two, knit four, purl two, all the way around. And you are going to do this for the first four rounds. Your fifth round is going to be purl 2, cable 4 back, purl 2. For the cable 4 back, you will insert your cable marker into the first two stitches. Slide it off your needle and hold those stitches in the back of your work. Then knit 2. Now you are going to knit the two stitches off of that marker. And this can be a little tight, especially if you're using something small, but it is manageable. As you may or may not be able to see, it creates a twist. For round six, we are going to repeat the purl two, knit four, purl two pattern. 
And then we are going to repeat that six rounds of cable pattern until you reach your desired length. I kept mine fairly short and I repeated this cable pattern three times. All right, now that we have our cabled section completed, as you can see, we have a nice cable going there. We are going to do the ribbing at the top so that our boot cuffs fit nicely over our legs. So you're going to repeat the same number of rounds you did at the bottom, and we're going to do the same two by two ribbing. So we're going to knit two, purl two, all the way around. In order to bind off, we're going to do a stretchy bind off. And my favorite stretchy bind off is to knit two together in the back, and then slide that stitch back on to your left needle and repeat. I like this bind off because it is very stretchy and it is very fast as well. Alright, you're going to pull your ends through and sew them in and complete your work by cutting off those tails. And you're going to make a second boot cuff the exact same way you made your first. This pattern is easily adjustable. You can make the rib and cable sections as long as you need. You can also make these on straight needles or any materials that you have. If you need to adjust the pattern, make sure to do so in multiples of eight for the cabled section. And I absolutely love the look of these boot cuffs and the cable design. They are very quick to make. This is a great project for beginners as well, especially if this is your first time doing cables. And I think they would make a great gift. I'm definitely going to make a pair for my mom. I will definitely be making more boot cuffs and leg warmers this season, so be sure to subscribe. If you need help with any of the techniques in this tutorial or have any requests, please let me know down below in the comments section. If you would like a written pattern, there are links as well. There are links to all the other places you can find me on the web. Be sure to tag me if you make these and upload a picture to social media because I would love to see them. Alright, I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!